Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on ForgottenWeapons.com. Today we're out here taking a look at this very cool World War One era 37mm cannon. This is actually made by the Bethlehem Steel Company right here in the United States, and these were manufactured in 1916 and 1917 for the French government. 200 of them were ordered, and what's kind of funny is uh, they only got 15 of them shipped before the, the U.S. Army uh, de facto canceled the order and seized all the rest of the guns but then ultimately didn't decide to use them, and so they kind of sat around, and they were in U.S. inventory until 1920. Um, 1921, they were no longer on the inventory books, so they, they were disposed of sometime in 1920, and it appears, as far as we can tell, that they were never actually used in World War I. Um, you know, one of those oddities of war, that they made them and then decided not to use them. So this is a semi-automatic gun, which in terms of a piece of a firearm like this means that the breech will automatically eject the empty case and lock open when you fire. So what we have up here is an oil-filled hydraulic cylinder with a spring, and when it fires, this assembly comes backwards, it recoils back against the spring in the hydraulic piston, it automatically opens the breech block, like that. There is an eject right here, this little finger, that flips the empty case out the back, this guy right here is a shell deflector, so that when I'm sitting behind the gun, let's see, let me go around to the front. So when I'm sitting behind the gun here, the empty case gets thrown out of here at relatively high velocity because of the recoiling action. It bounces off this plate and falls over there without hurting me. I have a, a very light leather shoulder pad here. I have a trigger right here. And I have my iron sights, which is how this gun was aimed, on this really cool big brass cast sight assembly. If we come over here and look at it, we have a range cam, which on this one I don't believe is set up and working right now. Yeah. But that's how I would have adjusted the range. I have my windage adjustment here, screw with a nice little uh, scale on it. Line up the post in the peep, and pull the trigger, and boom. Now, one of the other things that's interesting about this particular gun is that it's on a, a free traverse mount. Normally, these have a tripod and elevation system where you can actually dial in and lock the gun in to a specific target. These, um, and it's not not unknown, but it's a lot less common. These are free traversing, so I keep my shoulder against the gun. I'm actually not entirely sure where my left hand would have gone, but I keep this against the gun, aim at my target, and fire. This type of mount, not this particular gun, but the free traversing mount was common on naval guns, for example, where they would mount these on the, the gunnels of a boat so that you could fire it at incoming small vessels. Now, uh, we have a, a little lever down here. Let me go ahead and So in order to close the breech block, what I have to do is hold the breech open and push that extractor forward. Normally what would happen is you throw a shell in, the rim hits this, pushes it in, and that allows the breech to close. So you don't want to stick your finger in there when it's happening. Um, I should point out a little bit of the firing mechanism has been taken out of this gun right now. Um, the owner is tinkering with it, getting it to work just right. Um, our trigger can be re-cocked with this lever if it doesn't fire. So, again, it's not functioning right now because part of the firing mechanism is taken out. But if you go to fire the gun and all you get is a click when you're expecting a bang, you can re it just like that. These are very cool guns. They fire a fairly low pressure 37 millimeter cartridge. Um, really an awesome piece of artillery. Uh, this is the A model carrier. There was originally an armor plate that went over the front that's around here somewhere, but not currently set up on the gun. And then the, the wheels could be hooked up uh, to it. The, the trail can be hooked up to be towed. Um, this is the type of artillery that's just not seen a whole lot these days. And I think it's really cool. So if we take a look in here, you can see some of the, the data on the side of the breach. These were made by the Bethlehem Steel Company. 
Uh, and because they were made for France, the data plate on the other side of the gun is actually written in French. And take a look at that right over here. So we have the weight of the gun. The whole assembly weighs 258 kilos. It is... Actually, that's all that's on there. This is serial number 198. So we don't have any footage of this firing full power loads. Um, today is the first time the owner has had it out to shoot. We do have a little bit of footage of a test load. So we'll play that. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and check back on ForgottenLoads.com. This is a very light test load.